Labas vakaras. Welcome to another evening of politics with Daniel. Majestic paid actors flying around in their cars. Look, I know it's old drama, fuck you. But why should any leftist care about Hassan's house or his wealth in general? Like, I get it why brain-dead human waste like reactionaries and tankies would care. Some are upset that a socialist is not poor. Some feel the urge to bash him, to virtue signal. But why should I care? I'm a socialist. I love equality and hate billionaires. So I personally feel glad that one of us is successful, that someone broke the stereotype. But not everyone on the left feels this way. Which is a shame, because they should. I've seen many of their arguments, but let's look at just a couple better ones, okay? Argument 1. He should have donated that money to charity instead. Well, no. I don't remember sa I don't remember Hassan saying that you should donate the money that you can live without to charity, nor is it a requirement for Marxists or socialists. Charity should always stay a voluntary and private matter for people, otherwise it's just a virtue signal tax. Aren't you yourself sick of the people on social media turning acts of charity into ego-boosting spectacles? Would you even call that charity? Many billionaires do quote-unquote charity, and they donate much more than Hassan ever could. And they're still shitty-ass people. Sure, if Hassan donated his money to charity, he would be an even better person. But he is by no means obligated to. And instead, he consistently advocates for redistributive policies. I'm sure he would be happy to give that money away in the form of taxes that would later go to the poor through properly accountable and efficient governmental institutions. I say this all the time to a lot of people that fucking yell at me. If you're mad at me, tax me more, okay? Tax people in my income bracket more. Vote in for politicians, vote for politicians and agitate politicians to tax people like me more. You. Argument two, the purchase of that house contributes to the capitalist system of wage slavery. And unlike buying food or clothing, it's not even essential. This argument is a much better one, but still not quite convincing to me. Ultimately, we are going to continue living in a capitalist-dominated society for a while, and we all have only one life, or so it seems. So it's okay to try and live the best life you can, as long as you're not exploiting people yourself and you're putting effort into changing society for the better. Hassan has already done much more to popularize socialism than most of us will ever do, and it doesn't seem like he will stop advocating for socialism anytime soon. Now, I will spare you the pain of listening to other arguments, since the overwhelming majority of them are just attempts at pointing out imagined hypocrisy and single brain cell gotchas. In the end, though, I must admit that Hassan is by no means a perfect guy. He is a charismatic dumbass who put in some effort and got lucky, and now is compensating a bit for the many years of being unsuccessful. He says he's a socialist and he hates the capitalist stranglehold on society, but in my opinion he spends way too much time on his stream reacting to jubilee videos instead of organizing and doing other tangible political shit. He covers himself in USSR symbolics and then fails to thoroughly condemn the red fascists who came along with actual leftists. Not perfect, like any of us, but a proper reaction to his shortcomings is not shitting on him. Instead, you fucking woke scolds, try and push him to become better, since most of the complaints thrown at Hassan from the left are just repackaged frustrations that their favorite political streamer is not as good as they want him to be. And you know what? If you're an envious motherfucker and you cannot get over his wealth, you can just start telling everybody you know to stop donating and subbing to his Twitch channel, since most of his money comes from voluntary viewer contributions. And better yet, do something productive with your life, something you could really be proud of. And stop comparing yourself to anyone but your past self. This has been Daniel, if this video does not get 50 comments calling me a white supremacist in one week, I'm making anime critiques. Look at this, that's a lot of lights.
bro. Huh.